Hello students, my name is Dr. Gajendra Purohit and you are watching our YouTube channel where I upload videos for engineering, mathematics and BSc. So if you are preparing for any competitive exams where higher mathematics is asked, our channel is very helpful to you. So students, I have started Infinite Series 2.0 where I introduced the Infinite Series. Today I am going to explain you all about the Geometric Series and the P Series which are a part of the Infinite Series. I would also discuss about the conditions of P-series test and we'll solve some questions as well. So students, let's start. If you haven't seen my previous videos, then go to the I tab. So you don't have problem. Let's discuss geometric series. If we have any series of this type, like 1 plus x plus x square, any series of this type. So students, this is our geometric series. Do you remember we had studied this? If you have an idea of AP and GP, where we used to have a geometric progression, like A, A, R, A, R square, right? Now here, if we take the value of A as 1, then we have 1 plus R. Plus R square, right? So you will see students that here, we have R as the common ratio, right? So we have a geometric series. If this series is given to us, when will be this convergent? For what value of x will it converge? For what value of x will it diverge? For what value will it oscillate? I will explain it to you in detail. This is our infinite series. If we find its SOPS, then the resulting SN will be like 1 plus x plus x square will be up to xn minus 1. If we discuss anything about it, then formula of its sum is x power n minus 1 upon x minus 1. Now let me tell you that if we have this type of series given then its sum will be, so it has two formula, one is 1 minus r power n upon 1 minus r, other is r power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. If the value of r is greater than 1, then it is this and if smaller than this. This happens when the value is less than x. We need to understand this, but don't worry, we are writing it for now. We will see it later as per the value of x, right? What is SN students? It's a term, it's the nth term. I want to tell you that whenever we discuss about SOPS, it is always an increasing, monotonically increasing sequence. If we need to know whether it is convergent or not, we can put the nth term in the SN to infinite and see what is the final value of it. But if I tell you that if the value of x is less than 1, let's say this x is less than 1, which means this series is of this type. I mean to say this type, right? So here that value of x is less than 1. If it's approaching a value less than 1, then as soon as we put it n tends to infinite. So students, if any value, which is 1 by 2 to the power n and limit, if n tends to infinite, then we know that its value will be 0. As soon as we keep n tends to infinite, it will be 0. So minus 1 upon x minus 1 and we will take out minus 1 as common, then its value will be 1 upon x minus 1. So now we are getting a finite value here. So this will be convergent. But if we have x whose value is greater than 1, that is mod x greater than 1. What will happen if it is greater than 1? Let's assume here if we have 1 plus 2 plus 2 square. If we have some series like this, you can see the value of x or r is. So students, if we discuss about this, here we are getting the value of x as 2. If the value of x is 2, then we know that if I take 2 to the power of n and the limit then, n tends to infinite. So what will be the value? Infinite. As soon as we put n tends to infinite. So what will we have? It will be infinite. That means it won't exist. So in that case, this series will be called divergent. Students, by this we mean if we have this type of a series and if the value of x is less than 1, then in that case, it is case of convergent series, right? If the value of x is greater than 1, then in that case, it is divergent. But what will happen if the value of x becomes 1? If the value of x becomes 1, what will we do? Take 1 plus x plus x square. This is a geometric progression. If we put the value of x as 1, so when we have a type of series like 1 plus 1 plus 1, it is called a constant series. And always remember, a constant series is always divergent. You might ask, how is it divergent? So here, I will suggest, calculate SOPS. It will give S1 as 1, S2 will be the sum of two terms, S3 will be the sum of three terms. So in this case, you will see that students, Sn will become n. And when we will keep its limit n, tends to infinite then. So students, the value of this will be infinite. By this means that it will be called divergent. So if the value of x is 1, in that case, it will be divergent. Now suppose if the value of x is minus 1, then what will happen? An example of geometric series is like this x square and so on. So in this series, 
we will have n is equal to 0 to infinity x power n. If I put minus 1 in place of x, then n will be equal to 0 to infinity and if you will expand it. Then as I explained in previous video, that the SOPS of its value will be, so students we know that S1 will be 1, S2 will be 0, then S3 will be 1. So the SOPS of it will be oscillating. So students, this is our oscillating series. That means it is not convergent. Let me explain it to you by an example. 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8 and 1 by 16. So students, if we take out 1 by 2 as common, so 1 by 2 plus the whole square of 1 by 2, thus we will get this in this way. Now we know that it is a geometric progression where value of x will be 1 by 2, then what do we call it? A convergent series. Clear? We will discuss about the p-series if we have any infinite series in this form, where n is equal to 1 to infinity. 1 upon n power p. And when you will continue putting the value of n, you will get what? A series. Now, for what value of p does it converge or for what value of p does it diverge? So, students, I want to tell you that if the value of p is greater than 1, then in that case, this series will be convergent. Example, suppose if you are asked to take a series 1 upon n square or 1 upon n cube, then this type of series will be known as a convergent series. In case p's value is 1 or less than 1, for example, this one is 1 upon n and this is 1 upon under root n. So students, in that case, this will be known as a divergent series because here value of p is 1 by 2 while value of p here is 1, right? Now I will discuss about a concept that there is a series which is studied in a sequence because sequence 1 upon n is convergent. But the series 1 upon n is always a divergent series. Also, there is a condition that is a necessary condition. If we put n tends to infinity, then this becomes 0. So, students say if upon putting n tends to infinity, it becomes 0. So, this is non-convergent series. Then this turns to be a counter example. It satisfies the number condition, but this series is non-convergent by the P series. This is something you need to understand. Let's move on, students. Now, we have a question here where you are being asked about a series, if it is convergent or not. If we are taking 3 as a common, this would be like 1 plus 2 plus 2 square plus 2 cube. So students, you can easily see that we are going to get. What kind of series before us? This is an example of the geometric type series where we have a series with us like 1 plus x plus x square. If the value of x is 2, which is greater than 1, so it will be called a divergent series. You need to understand this. Now, take up the next question. You are being asked here if the following series is a convergent. I want to tell you that if we write it like 1 upon 8, 1 upon 2. So we are getting this as a type of n cube. 1 upon n cube and n equals to 1 to infinity. Putting 1 will give 1, putting 2 will give 1 by 8, putting 3 will give 1 by 27 and by p series. Here the value of p is 3, which is greater than 1. This means that the series will be convergent, right? You need to understand this. Similarly, we have a question with us. So, 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 27. We can't write this as a summation of 1 by n because here the value of n is different, right? But we can write it like this. This is a type of geometric progression. It will be n is equal to from 0 to infinity. You will see that if you put 0, you get 1. If you put 1, you get 1 by 3. If you put 2, you get 1 by 9. This is a geometric progression. So we are getting it like 1 by 3 and 9 and so on. So students, you are seeing here the value of x is 1 by 3, which is less than 1. So this is a convergent series. You need to understand this, right? So students, we have this p-series test where n power is 1 by 3, n is equal to 1 to infinity and the value of p is 1 by 3, which is smaller than 1. This means that this series will be divergent by the p-series test. So you need to understand this. This question is for the comment box. Solve it. How many seconds did you take? Please let me know in the comments and also write the answers. Students, if you want to watch more videos like this, the complete playlist is here if you are preparing for CSIR, NetGate and IIT Jam and want to learn short tricks, then visit this channel. You can go to the playlist and check it out and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all very much and how much you are liking this series. Make sure to let me know in the comment box. Thank you, students. Bye-bye.